Good morning everyone, my name is Chantal and my name is Lauren. Welcome to Kids Takeover! We just want to say welcome to all the kiddies. Can I get a wave from all of you? There we are. It is good to have you here this Sunday. And we also want to say welcome to the team who has served with us during Holiday Club. We want to say warm welcome to the parents that are here and to the church. You've joined us today. And if you're here for the first time, a very warm welcome to you. We hope that you enjoy the special service. So if everyone can close their eyes because we are going to pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you that we had so much fun at Holiday Club. Thank you for the special service that we get to praise and worship you together as one whole church. We're so looking forward to what you're going to be doing in each and every one of our lives. In your mighty name, Jesus, amen. Amen. Okay, there we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, kids. Can I hear you? Hello. Hello. So, every day at Holiday Club, we had some special guests visit us, all the way from the Bible Company. Do you guys remember them? What were their names? Bebot and Robot. Okay, and do you know what? They've come here to visit us again. So we can, are you ready for them? Okay. Club, Bebot, I mean Bebot and Robot, they showed us three special dance moves and we chose three for today. So, Bebot and Robot, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you tired? Are you tired? Are they tired? Do you think they're tired? I think they need to recharge. Hmm, you guys can go and recharge. And we're gonna go count down, count, yeah, count down from five. So, everybody, five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, now we're ready for the three dance moves. So the first one is dance like granny. Dance like granny. The second one is cool pose. Do your cool pose off. And the third one is arms like Ron. So your arms like Ron, arms like Ron. Okay, so can all the kids stand up? And all the parents, you can also get up. Oh, the church, the whole church, everybody. Okay, everyone together, let's do it. Dance like Granny. Arms like Ron. Cool pose. Cool pose. Okay. I'm gonna do it faster now, is that okay? Okay, so we're gonna dance like Granny. We're gonna do arms like Ron. We're gonna do cool pose. Cool pose. Another cool pose since it's so cool. Arms like Ron. Dance like Granny. Dance like Granny. Arms like Ron. Dance like Granny. Arms like Ron. Cool pose. Cool pose. Okay, well done everybody. You can give yourselves a hand. And you can take your seats. Okay, awesome. Now. We also did an icebreaker every day. So we can bring up the three kids that we picked. Three kids. Parents, are you ready? Will they be your children? Will they? Okay. Three kids. 
Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Are you guys tired again? Are you tired? I think you're tired. Come, let's recharge one more time. We need extra energy for this icebreaker. Okay. We're going to count down from five one more time. Five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, there we go. We're ready. Okay, so the parents, just one parent for each child. You guys can come up for each child. Okay, there. Onto the platform. You can please come up. One parent. There we go. There we go. Give them a hand. Okay, you can come up onto the platform. Okay, just one parent, there we go. You can come onto platform. You guys can stand behind your child. We need to see. On the platform. We're, we're missing one parent. One parent. Don't be shy, there we go. There we go, awesome. Yeah, you can't hide from that one. Let's go. Okay, so how this icebreaker is gonna work is each parent, hi parents, we're going to, you're gonna take the balloon and try to hit your child's head with the balloon. Okay, and don't worry, you'll all get sweets, it's okay. Um, but the winner will get Smarties, yeah. And yeah, they will. The rules, you just have to throw it and hit your child's head, but you can't move. You can't move, you gotta stay standing. Yeah, are you guys ready? You ready? Okay, kids, are you guys ready? Okay. One, two, three, you guys can go. Wow, there we go, we, that was quick. <laughs> okay, Jaden, you can get the sweets. That was very quick, well done. <laughs> Um, let's just give them a hand. Okay, parents, you can go sit down once you've got the sweets. And the kids. Kids can also get sweets. There we go. Thanks, Bebot. Thanks, Robot. You guys can put the balloons behind the bench. Awesome. Okay. And now, sadly, the bubble company is calling Bebot and Robot. Everybody say, aww. Aww. So we're going to say goodbye to them. And you can wave them off. We're just going to wait for the music. There we go. Everybody say bye. And now, we, I'm going to call up the dance team, the Holiday Club dance team. You guys can come up. Okay, so at Holiday Club, we had a special Holiday Club dance that we did every day. And it was just so much fun. And we want to show it to the church. Okay, so kids, you can get up and leaders. Get up. Parents, you can stay seated. Okay. Kids, are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Today is a special day. 
Right, thank you to our Holiday Club dance team. Whew. You guys are awake now. Are you guys awake here? Awesome. Now, why do we do Holiday Club? Well, here is the vision. We have a vision for Holiday Club, and we just like to share to you what it is. Holiday Club is about seeing children know Jesus' love, to experience authentic worship, and to have a real God encounter and to build deep friendships with other kids as well as their leaders. At Holiday Club, we want to see every person who serves increase their love for serving and also become more passionate about people knowing Jesus as their Lord. We want the team to experience a renewed love for Jesus and we want a meaningful friendship to be made within the team. Holiday Club is about seeing the local church grow. As kids get hungrier for Jesus, bringing their family along, we want Holiday Club to have an immense impact, not only here at New Life Church, but to all the local churches of Muscle Bay. Holiday Club is also about seeing an incredible change in our young people today, as they are the generation that will spread the name of God high. So I'd like to call up the worship team to come join us on platform. Come, let's give it up for the worship team, guys. Woo! Good morning. I'd like to invite the church to please stand and join us, as well as the kids to please stand and join us while we do two songs that we did this week. Believe it and yes, I will. Whatever the distance or darkness, you're with me. You're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me.
I count on one thing The same God that never fails Will not fail me now You won't fail me now In the waiting The same God who's never late Is working all things out You're working all things out And yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. Oh, yes, I will sing for joy when my heart is heavy all my days. Oh, yes, I will. God that never fails will not fail me now. You won't fail me now in the waiting. The same God is never late, is working all things out. You're working all things out. Oh, yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, that for all our days, Father God, that we can count on you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that we can bless your name, Father God, in whatever situation we find ourselves in. Thank you, Jesus, that your promise still stands, Father God, and that you are faithful to us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that you promised us Holiday Club would be a success, Father God, and that it was, Lord. Thank you, Father God, that you're never late to deliver on your promises, Lord. Thank you that everything is in your timing. I pray this, I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome to grab your seats as I welcome up Duart and Sihle. Woo! Wasn't worship amazing? Can we give it a round for our worship team? Okay, can we just jump into it? We're, great. <laughs> We're grateful to God for how He's worked at Holiday Club. In every service at New Life, we share praise reports and prayer requests. You can let us know if you have a praise report or if you'd like to pray about something by filling in the info card thingy in front of your seat. <laughs> Next step, guys, thank you. In front of the seat, in front of you. Or you can WhatsApp text New Life. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
Because it's kids' takeover today, we're not going to be doing the praise and prayer reports of last week. We're going to do those next week. But we are going to praise God for the work that he's done in the lives of the people who are here this week at Holiday Club. There were 136 kids attending Holiday Club this year. Not only that, there were 76 people serving in the house. And I'd just like to thank each and every person, that's parents included and the kids, who made Holiday Club possible. And we also just want to thank the church for supporting Holiday Club. You've prayed and you've given. Ooh. Thank you for every donation and every sponsorship. Not only that, but the fact that we have a strong church which makes it, make it possible to have Holiday Club. Because of your faithful tithing of the church. Of yeah. the church. Faithful tithing. That faithful tithing strengthens the church and makes us strong. We are a generous church. It even says that if you're faithful with the little things, you'll be faithful with the large things. So if the stewards can get ready to receive the offerings, there are offering baskets underneath every right seat in each row. So if you can get ready to just get those containers and... Also, if you're not going to use the great containers in front of you, behind the seats, there are giving envelopes that you can also put your tithes in. There's also the card machine at the front desk, or you can use EFT to give your offerings or tithes. So can we quickly just get all the people on the right side to pass on the containers to the left? Chantal and Lauren will also get by the kiddies today. That's in front, if they have. And then I'll be praying. Praying. It's so good to see. It's so good to see the kids also having a lot of offerings. Teach them while they're young. Okay. Can also a two mark, then I'll pray. Father God, thank you for this amazing day. Thank you that... Uh, Thank Jesus for the church. Thank you, Jesus, for the church. Thank you that we have people that tithes every Sunday, Jesus. Thank you for everybody in this church. Thank you that you build up the church so strong, Jesus. Jesus, I pray that you would be with everyone during this day, during this week, that Jesus, you would just bless them with abundantly of love and kindness and joy and wisdom, that they will do the right stuff in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Give them a hand. Sure, this team has done well this morning. Thank you, everyone who's, who's carried a part of the service. It is a very special service. And we just, you know, today is actually the last day of Holiday Club. So we thought instead of inviting you um, in the week to come, we would just make sure that you all get to be part of Holiday Club today. And Holiday Club has been a week of fun and of friendship and of faith. And we've had loads of fun. We've had so much fun, you know. Fun is what softens our hearts so that we're open to hear from God and open to hear about Him. And the way we do fun is not based on who's serving. So we don't make it a, a teenage fun program or an adult fun program. We make it fun for the kids. And one of the biggest things that kids need for it to be fun is for it to be safe. And so we made sure with such a big team that every child was cared for, was looked after, and could have the best fun that is age appropriate for them. So we've made many new friends, lots of lots of new friends. The kids have made friends, the team have made friends, and we've all grown in our faith. For me personally, this holiday club, it has been so special to get to know many, many people better just by serving alongside them. And they all got to see a side of me that they hadn't seen before, and they all got to know SARS, the good SARS, as I was called at Holiday Club. Church, we are rich with young people who the way that they serve, the way that they lead, the way that they have influence, it's the way Jesus wants them to. We have young people who have a passion for seeing lives changed and the kingdom of God advance. And I have been so blessed to see how this team rose to challenges. Wow. How they allowed God to stretch them and to use them and how they leaned into God like they've never had to before. And to see the unity within the staff team and the section leaders and the team as a whole. We are very blessed. If you speak to some parents of the kids serving, 
And they'd say they actually wanted to wake up and come to Holiday Club at 6 in the morning. So it was that amazing to see. Won't you just give our team another hand, another thanks. I don't have the stats of out of this, the 70 odd team, how many adults and how many teenagers, but there was a good number of adults. And so we really appreciate also those adults who, who chose to come and spend the week with us. We also had a team from Freedom Church come and serve this week. And um, that was incredible. We, we do thank them for taking the time to come alongside, to strengthen our team. And we thank Simon and Yanni for releasing them when they have their own holiday club this week. So that's hectic. They were here for the, the week before their holiday club, and they're going to get started this week. So every day, we watch scenes from the movie, Ron's Gone Wrong. Who made sure that their parents got to see this movie? Who's seen this movie with their parents? There we go. All right. So we got to watch scenes from this movie, and we use these scenes as a tool to teach biblical truths to kids. So this is how we did that. On Tuesday, our theme for the day was not broken. And we met Barney, and we met Ron. And Ron didn't work like the other Bebots. He seemed to be broken. And we use this to share how sometimes we can also feel broken. We can feel like there's something that's not quite right with us because we're not like other children. And as adults, we can also feel broken too. When we feel like we're not like this person or like that person and we compare ourselves. But what we learn from this is that God loves us. God sees us. No matter how we feel about ourselves, we are not broken. And Jesus wants us to know him as our good shepherd. He loves you. He sees you. He wants to be there for you in every way, every day. And this isn't just a message for children. This is a message for teenagers. It's a message for adults too. Jesus wants us to know him as our good shepherd. Then on Wednesday, our theme was friendship uploading. And we saw how Barney and Ron, they became really good friends. They were growing their friendship. And, and we spoke about how Jesus also had good friends. And he taught them how to be good friends to each other. You know, when we think of the disciples, we think that they were such good people and they were super special. But actually, they were special. We're all special. But they were just like you and I. They had disagreements. They were rude to each other. They didn't do what Jesus asked. They didn't listen. They blamed each other. They were just like us. And yet Jesus taught them how to be good friends to each other. And so, we spoke about the fruit of the Spirit, and we learned how the Holy Spirit helps us to be like Jesus and to treat people the way he wants us to treat them. And he shows us how to be a good friend to others. So, can everyone say not broken? Everyone say friendship uploading? Right. Then on Thursday, we learned about best friends. Can you say best friends? Good job. So Ron chose to sacrifice himself to save Barney. We saw that Ron chose, in spite of the fact that he was going to go to the crusher, Barney needed to be saved. And Jesus did that for you and me. I got to share with the grade R to 3s on the Thursday and then on the Friday with the grade 4s to 7s, how when I was 11 years old, I realized what it meant that Jesus died for me. I realized that I could ask for him to be my Lord and Savior, that I could say sorry to him for all the times that I've hurt him. And when I asked him for forgiveness and I asked him to be my Lord and Savior, on that day, he became my best friend. And he wants to be your best friend too. On Friday, it was our last day here, and we saw how important it is to together search God. And Barney's family and friends, they helped him to get out of the hospital, and they had to go and find Ron. Do you remember? It was Granny, and it was Dad, and it was Mark, and it even was the goat. They all went to go and find Ron. They had to help 
Barney to get into the bubble company and to search the cloud to find Ron. And we need to keep seeking Jesus too. The difference is that God isn't lost. That's not what the Bible means, that we need to keep seeking him. But it means that we should keep reading our Bible. We should keep praying. We should keep worshiping. We should keep being hungry to be closer to Jesus. The wonderful thing about this was that Barney didn't go looking for Ron on his own. He took his family with him. And we are also supposed to do all of this looking for God and trying to be close to him with one another as a family. So we learned about the early church and how they stayed together when Jesus went to heaven. And they prayed together and they sang songs together and they read the Bible together. And that was how they could grow stronger. And that was when the church began. But you know what? They didn't just stay their own little group. Cool, we're all sorted. We're all now close to Jesus. They had to tell others about him. And his Holy Spirit helps us to have courage to tell others about Jesus. So the movie ends in a very special way. In fact, it's so special that when I watched it, in the great R to threes, I got quite emotional. I don't know if anybody on the team also felt that, but the tears started welling in my eyes and started falling down my face. And I said, no, no, okay, now I'm going to go to the fours to sevens. And they were a little bit behind. So then they were watching the movie and the same scene came and uh, then the emotions started all over again. Barney and Ron, they're in the cloud. He's found Ron. And they see all the children some of the children from his school, and they see how lonely they really are. Their lives seem to be full of fun and awesomeness, and we're so cool, but actually, each and every one of them is so lonely. They see how sad and frustrated the children are, and they realize that everyone needs a Ron. They realize that Ron's purpose is for friendship that he's actually designed for making friends. And so Barney was so excited to be able to share Ron with everyone. He couldn't wait. But for Ron to be shared with everyone, it meant that he would have to go away. It would mean that Barney would never see Ron as his personal bebot again. So there's this moment of, what do we do? And Ron says to him, I have to go away to make sure that everyone can have his code. His code needed to be downloaded and uploaded into every Bebot so that every child could have a Ron in their lives. When Ron was shared, he was no longer as a Bebot. His code was shared out to all the other Bebots. And this incredible thing happened that even though he wasn't with Barney anymore, every time Barney saw a Bebot, they recognized Ron. He was inside every other Bebot. Every child got to have a Ron in their lives. And every Bebot seemed to love Barney. The movie ends with Barney sitting with his changed friends on what was called the Buddy Bench, but is now called the Barney Bench. Now, we know that Jesus lived on earth. He died on a cross, but we also know that he rose again. And when he rose again, he was on earth with his friends for how many days? How many do you think? Forty days he was with his friends. Now, I'm going to ask Jaden to come up. Jaden's going to demonstrate something for us. Jaden will be our Jesus for this moment. And Lauren... If you can get two boys and two girls to come up with us quickly, then they are going to, they are going to be Jesus' friends. So they're just going to come up and, Jaden, will you give each of them, will you show them where to stand and then give them each a candle? Okay. All right. So here we go. You come stand this side. All right. There we go. Okay. Maybe else we give them, maybe help them stand a little further away. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now they each need a candle in their hands. Great. All right. Maybe, maybe if you can take one step, that there we go. Perfect. All right. 
So, Jesus was on earth for 40 days. Jesus, will you just show us your, your light so we can all see? There we go. There's Jesus, okay? Now, when he was on earth, he could spend time with one friend. And then he would go and spend time with another friend. Then he would spend time with another friend. And then he would spend time with another friend. But then it was time for Jesus to go away. He had to go to heaven. And I'm sure his friends couldn't understand. Why does he have to leave us? Just like Barney didn't really want Ron to leave them. Jesus is for making friends with God. He came to earth to restore our friendship with our heavenly father. And he came so that you and I can be called children of God. And this wasn't only for certain people in certain countries who speak certain languages. He wants friendship for all. In John 16 verse 7, we read Jesus' words. But what I'm about to tell you is true. It's for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the friend will not come to help you. But if I go, I will send him to you. You see, Jesus knew that the only way that, he could, that we could all have him in every single one of our hearts and every single one of our lives is if he went away and he went to heaven. So he left earth, but he didn't leave his friends alone. So Jaden, will you show us by demonstration how every person who believes in Jesus has the Holy Spirit inside of them. By him going to heaven and giving us the Holy Spirit, every single person who gives their life to Jesus will have the Holy Spirit inside of them. And that means that we have Jesus with us all the time, every day. Just like each child has the same light that came from Jesus' light, that's how we have the Holy Spirit in us. Won't you give them a hand? And Jaden, you can blow out their candles. Or they can blow out their candles. Go for it. Blow it out. And we're going to give you a little sweetie to say thank you. And you can give your candles to Jaden and Elsabi. Don't worry about the smell. Okay. There we go. Thank you, guys. Wait, we want to give you a sweetie. Make sure everybody gets. Okay. When we ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes into our lives and he's there to help us. He's there to comfort us, to guide us, for us to talk to, for us to know the love God has for us. In Romans 5 verse 5, we read, we know how dearly God loves us because he's given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. So just like Ron had to leave so that every child could have him in their lives, Jesus left his friends on earth so that he could be in all of our lives through his Holy Spirit, so that we could all know his love. Let's close our eyes as we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you see every single one of us. And in your eyes, we're not broken. You love us, you see us, and you want us to know you as our best friend. Lord, we thank you that, that you don't want us to just know you as our best friend, but you want us to, to be better friends with the people around us. Lord, that you want us to gather at church, at kids' church, at youth, that we can invite people to come and know you, that your family must grow. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that fills our hearts and helps us to know your love, gives us strength and guides us. And thank you that your Holy Spirit helps us, help us to have the courage to invite others to church so that they too can know you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for how much you love every single one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're just going to enjoy a highlights video.
started making me friends it was that i got to learn more about jesus and and just the presence of this place it's a nice place the racing the movie and the dancing all the songs and games um my best part of holiday club was socializing with the kids and meeting new people um like meeting with new people and socializing with my crew was really nice for me and like it was a nice adventure hectic and it was quite fun and i enjoyed it a lot making new friends and spending time with um other friends that i hadn't met yet dancing and playing outside and doing games best part of holiday club is there were a lot of kids that prayed the salvation prayer that was awesome to see. We gave out a lot of booklets and you could really see that God moved there. So that was really awesome to see. Daddy, that's all. Beth, there's nothing wrong with us and he loves us just the way we are. Daddy loves us all. I learned that he loves us and is our best friend. I appreciate him a lot because of what he's done for us, dying on the cross, saving us from our sins. That Jesus died on the cross to save us and free us from sin. That he's our best friend. And that he loves us all and that he um, can never um, let anybody um, go out of his heart. God has stretched me. <laughs> First time I've done holiday club since I've been with kids. So it's actually unbelievable. And um, yeah, the fact that I was here and could just encounter God with the kids on such a personal level and have such good conversations, just honest conversations about God. That was really good. Um, he's helped me um, see that many kids don't know God yet, but he's growing, they're growing a connection with him and it's quite, and he also told me to like, help the kids out when they need it and make holiday club fun for them so they can stay more and want to know more about God. Well, good morning from me as well. Morning. Good morning. It's good to be here. It was awesome. Holiday clubs are very, very um, unusual week for me, and it just worked perfectly because this week I got to just make coffee and drive to the shops. That's all I did. And it was awesome. And, uh, and it was really phenomenal. What I get to do in the background is see how everyone else is growing which is amazing because to say that we had just over 70 people serving in Holiday Club, it doesn't really help you understand how powerful that actually is. What that means is 70 people who could communicate on this level, but after the week on this level, who could lead a small group on this level, but after the week this level, who could lead worship over here, but now lead it over there. 70 people in the church who have taken a step up in one or more areas, even cooking, even coffee, even serving in every way. So the volunteers have done an exceptional job. Can we just thank them one more time for everything they did? 
And the staff team has worked incredibly hard in the church. I don't know if all of you are in the service, but just for real, real quick, won't you stand to your feet and let's thank the staff team who also put in a massive effort. There you go. You see, they somewhere. The rest of them are out serving somewhere even right now. And, um, and then, of course, I think not lastly, but second lastly, Awande and Sars did an incredible job of directing Holiday Club. They are leaders of leaders. And I promise you, a thing like this doesn't just happen. There is a massive amount of pre-planning and preparation that happens. Sars, I don't think, has gone to bed before midnight for weeks. Um, it's been a lot of planning, and she's done exceptionally well um, to keep her cool at home. Well done, baby. And I wonder, well done. Uh, I wonder is being raised up to do this as well, and, and you did an exceptional job. Well done. Really, both of you did amazingly well. Let's thank our directors. And then, as a church, well done. Because you may not know this, but there were leaders, part of the crew and the team that could not do it if, because finances might have been an, a problem and a challenge for them. There were kids that may not be here today or in the first service or on holiday club because finances were a challenge. And so as a church, every single one of you stepped in, you helped, you gave, and it has made a difference in the life of someone else. You may never know the name of the person you impacted, but I promise you, your giving, your faithful generosity, your sponsorships, your donations, your regular tithing has made a huge difference to make Holiday Club what it was. So why don't we give the rest of the church a big round of applause. Awesome. Just a couple of things to remind you about. Number one is if you are here for the first time today and it's possible that maybe your kid dragged you along because they wanted you to be a part of Holiday Club and this isn't how church normally is here, um, okay? We don't always have the kids in the service. We don't always uh, have things like this. We do this once a year and we love doing it once a year, once a year. Do not ask us if we're doing Holiday Club in December, okay? Your answer is coming. Here it is. No, we are not, okay? <laughs> Happens once a year. And so we invite the kids into the service and really want to highlight what Holiday Club looked like because you gave towards it. You prayed into it. You, some of you donated things and sponsored kids. So we wanted you to feel what it was like to be in Holiday Club. And so, um, so next year, we will do this again, 2025, June, July. It will be amazing. The team will grow. People will invite friends. It's going to be absolutely outstanding. So if you would like prayer for anything after the service, because this is an unusual service, there's not been a, a time to really kind of be prayed for. After the service, we've got a team of people who await here at the stage. And if you want prayer for anything, we don't want you to have come to church today with a burden on your heart and then to leave church with the same burden on your heart. Rather come, let someone lay hands on you, pray for you, and leave your burden at the foot of the cross. And we really want to encourage you to do that before you go out today, if you've got something you need prayer with. What I was saying, sorry, I got sidetracked there, was this is an unusual service. So if you are here for the first time, come along next week. But I just want to warn you, next week is an unusual service. Okay, so if you come next week as well, it's also going to be different because next week is a special honoring service. Pastor Zane and Erica arrived at this church and preached their first message on the last weekend of June 1994. That was the first time that they stepped into, it wasn't even this building. I think this was a bunch of ferns and other things, proteas and what, what. They were over there. And so they preached 30 years ago. So this, the last weekend, next weekend, the last weekend in June 2024 will mark 30 years that they've been in ministry growing the church, sowing themselves into people and into this congregation and, of course, into this community. And so next week is a special honoring service. That doesn't mean we're not having church. There will be message. There will be worship. There will be all the elements of church. It'll just be slightly different because we want to honor and bless them as they leave and uh, start their official retirement. Kids will be in kids' church next week. Okay, don't worry. It'll be back. You don't have to stress out next week. We only do this once a year. And so, yeah, please come along next week. It's going to be significant. It's going to be special. It really is going to be one of those. It's, it's the end of a historic era, really. And so come along and celebrate with us next week. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Awesome. Last thing quickly, we have drop boxes at every exit in this building here. And so if you've got a next steps card that you want, maybe you've got a prayer request or a giving envelope or something like that, please pop it in the drop box on your way out. Remember, both cafes are open. You do not need to fetch your kids from that side. Fetch them from here, please. Okay, so parents are going to fetch kids while everyone else who doesn't have kids can go through to the cafe so long. And, uh, and let me it. interrupt. So, um, for those of you who don't know, it is Pastor Dolan's birthday today. And also, if you don't know, he really likes cappuccinos and boltong. So, make sure to go buy him. No, I'm joking. Don't buy him a cappuccino after the service. But, Pastor Dolan, we just want to honor you um, for your leadership and for your investment into us as a staff team, but also us as a church. Um, you have truly made a significant difference in us and through your preaching and teaching over the last four months. Um, so, church, can we sing for him? Kids' church style. Thank you, thank you. There we go. So yeah, it is a small gift from us to you as a church. It is something different from the first service. So I hope you enjoy it.